Hello everyone, I'm Pepper 580 welcoming you to a new episode of Metroid Other M. Last episode we finished off the game 100%, this time around we defeated Fantoon and we escaped the bottle ship before it was completely destroyed. If you press start game over here you're gonna see your files. Um, I had my backup file over here, uh, as you can see it took me roughly 8 hours, almost well, roughly 9 hours to complete the entire game, uh, as opposed to my personal um, my own personal playthrough, which took me around 10 hours to complete the game 100%. So we did a lot better in terms of time. Um, there is a little indicator over here if you got the brooch. It means that you finished the story up to the point where uh, Melissa is killed. And if you have the helmet, it means that you've retrieved Adam's helmet and you've completed the story um, to a full. Of course, 80 missiles is the 100%. You have all um, energy tanks. And uh, that's it. So those are the things here. But I also said last episode that you get a couple of bonuses for finishing off to 100%. First of all, th theater mode uh, would divide the entire game by chapters. I was actually doing this um, before I did the uh, I did the um, the previous episode. But here you would get um, everything you saw in the game. Uh, you can select play all, and it would give you like a rundown of the game, a little bit of a synthesized version. Uh, you get bits of cutscenes, you get bits of um, play moments, like uh, gameplay moments, boss fights, everything is on here. So if you ever want to watch any of these um, again, or remember how to beat something, or remember what, where to look for something to activate a certain boss fight, you can come here and watch them. That also includes the options to turn the language of the subtitles because this won't turn the language um, of the spoken no, it won't turn the spoken language but it will turn the language of the subtitles um, to Spanish or French I think there is spoken French because then the subtitles won't wouldn't be able to be turned off uh, there you go I keep it in English because I just like my games that way but I could have put it in Spanish so my uh, my Spanish uh, speaking viewers would understand a little bit more if you don't know a lot of English which if you do that, why are you watching my videos? I speak English and you wouldn't really be understanding what I'm saying right now, but anyways, that's not what I meant to say, because I know a lot of people that say that understand and speak English, but they don't really understand what I say when I speak, nor do they really speak a very good English. Anyways, um, <laughs> apart from that, you also got the gallery mode, uh, which is one little cool thing. Uh, you get eight pages uh, filled with artwork from the game, coming all the way from Samus Aran uh, in her zero suit form, the model, the original um, sketches, the face uh, the face expressions, the original model, you can zoom in, look at the little details, I don't, I don't know how to read Japanese, so I don't really know what these say, um, for, I, I just know the, the, I don't know if it's hiragana or katakana, for I think person or book I'm not entirely sure it's it's in in there somewhere um, so yeah that was Santos Aaron you also got the original design for Adam and now these are just um, raw models raw sketches for example here he's not wearing anything not not wearing his uniform over here he is in his um, his uh, attire from the past when Samus was part of the Federation come back to this uh, then we got Anthony Higgins over here uh, with a little sketch of him being like a a big brother to Samus all the time with uh, team Samus using a gun over here it's actually kind of cute uh, really nice uh, really nice to see the early stages of of development of these characters and getting to see all of those we also get some uh, looks into the soldiers, the other soldiers from the Federation that come into the bottle ship with Adam and his battalion. As you can see over here, there's more people. Uh, I don't know what this says, I'm not entirely sure, but this guy was used in-game. Here's the model, we actually saw him, we, he got killed. This one as well. Looks kind of like a veteran. Um, I don't remember the names of just by seeing them. Uh, and these being called Art 6, 7, and so on, it's not helping me that much. I think this is a pretty early on design for James, I think? I'm not entirely sure, but I think so, because of the mustache, I'm not entirely sure, or I don't remember if there's anyone else like him. 
But yeah, you can see early artwork for a lot of different characters. You can see a lot of things around. You can see Melon Bergman over here, for example, getting an original sketch for modeling, original sketch for like a comic from comic uh, kind of look, early sketches, expressions, and we can also see Melissa or NB being drawn here, like uh, the the front part, the back part, how. Her body is built, um, there's a little bit detailed on the shape of her head on the back side. Like the little designs for the birches that they had beforehand. MB, of course this is over there, MB. Melissa Bergman. We also got this over here, which is the sergeant that comes into the bottle ship at the very end of the game. Uh, with another fleet of Federation soldiers stopping Melissa for good and taking, um, trying to take Samus out. And uh, we have, I, I don't know if this is a scientist that appears at the very beginning of the game that says that he's cleaned up Samus' armor and takes the um, parts from the baby Metroid, I'm not entirely sure. We also got this over here, which is designs for enemies, for example, the gassers and uh, puffers, puffers, I think. Yeah, and little designs here, how Samus would avoid them, um, how they would... Um, Manifestate the anger how they would spawn out of the ground at some point like create out of the ground or out of a, uh, a Spawner it would be There's also early designs for these guys that I never remember the names of but did, like you, you can see the design is really really detailed in this game Like they really went out of their way to make sure that the the entire thing was 100% detailed and um, That they it resembled the universe of Metroid uh, this is an early design for the plant enemies that we saw. Uh, of course, they're not 100% this way. Uh, well, they are, but they usually have their mouths open, so you cannot see this little part on the sides. And they usually look this way, kind of like the rest of the plants over at the Sector 1. So it's pretty kind of interesting. You also kind of get to see in here a little bit more detail on the enemy's sketches, the enemy's... Um, Final, the differences in between the starting points and the final models. We can see key hunters over here. Um, well, I don't know if these are key, key hunters. I think they are key hunters. They would originally be, you would originally be able to see these little guys and transform into cocoons as they do in Metroid Fusion for the most part. Um, I think they also appear in Super Metroid. Um, and yeah, transform into key hunters got that and you also got the fish enemies which originally were supposed to be red but uh, in the very end they ended up going with a blue version of them like a more skeletal version of the fish enemies uh, which is okay because th that's the bigger version of those enemies this is another enemy that I never knew the name of this um, original designer like over here evolutionary chain I guess goes from the back part to the front part, from the front part to the back part. Really detailed models, really detailed sketches. This is... This is... This is a thing. <laughs> Did we ever see these things? I think so, but they, they died in one hit because we had the wave beam at that point. Um, we're not finished with this man. Um, the little goat thing dogs that are in Sector 2 that try to hurt you by going around you getting you cornered and then attacking you. We also got these things that scared the crap out of me a couple times, <laughs> like falling down from the ceiling, just appearing out of nowhere, scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> um, we also got uh, designs for basic fire enemies, basic um, morphable enemies that have different elements. I don't remember the names of these ones either, crap. Then we got the Lava Man. Lava Man were supposed to be able to go out of the lava at some point. They would stand really, really tall, and uh, they would try to eat Samus. Well, they actually kind of do eat Samus. If you get killed by one of those, uh, one of those grabs you, they kind of do. Then it would turn out like this. It comes out like all cute and stuff, and they'll be go, turn all ugly and stuff. Then be like, holy crap! And finally, Samus gets gold, and you die. That's a really detailed thing. <laughs> kind of morbid, but uh, there you go. Then we got the design for places, like for the bottle ship. Or we also got the design for some of the rooms in the game. For example, this place where Adam would give orders to the to Samus and the other soldiers. Uh, the beginning part where Samus would get here. 
look at all the swords and be like, hey, you need my help at the very beginning of the game, where Sam ducks her ship at the very beginning, a detailed model, and the early sketches of it. Uh, it's really detailed, you can see it only had, it was only supposed to have one ale, and they've, in the final version it has two of them. And you got here too, Sector 1, supposed to be a tropi uh, kind of a tropical uh, forest kind of place, uh, comes from here to this. So all of this is sketches for Sector 1, which looks all nice and easy, an early version I think of the, um, of the sentries. Of the terminals that it would disable all the <clears throat> holographs. You can also see this holograms, I think. Uh, sector 2 over here was supposed to be completely covered in ice, completely made out of ice. This is like a room, the room for Nightmare, actually. Um, what else is in there? Like, this is just full of really cool details. Now, this is for Sector 3, which is all covered up with grapple beams and uh, with these kind of things. This is a place where you fight the, the giant. Fire well, lava well. <clears throat> yeah, and and this place, which is the desert-like place that takes a lot of fire out of the vents, kind of cool. That's sector three. You also got here designs for the elevators. Uh, supposed, I think these are supposed to go. Um, I think this was supposed to be the main elevator. I'm not entirely sure. An early version of the main elevator, or maybe it's one of the. Like, you know, the elevators that you can take from Sector 2 to Sector 0 and whatnot. You got the the final game terminals over here that were supposed to be different before we already saw the artwork for that. The holograph terminals or hologram te terminals um, over here you can activate and deactivate them. Get the uh, grapple beam sentries like this ended up being like this in the final game there was um there's three different aspects to them i can't read japanese which is a shame um but there you go you can get a little bit of an, uh, an insight into all of this and see the guns like enemy guns being used well supposedly these would be security sentries that are used to protect the place but mb turned them against you so they're used to fight against you this is one of the original sketches for the uniform for all the um, scientists, I think, in in this place, uh, in the bottle ship. Then you come all the way over here, see that there's, yeah, I think it's scientists. Um, supposed to be like this, to be able to breathe in some environments, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, because I can't read Japanese. If, if anyone in the comments can read Japanese and is able to translate any of this, it'll be really, really helpful. Then you got, like, the early version of the armadillo enemy, the first one you fight and would eventually evolve and become the gigantic enemy that we see at the very end, which is kind of like this. Uh, just, well, the, ver the first version is a little bit more yellowish, the final version is more like this, kind of green. Um, there's that one, we also got the chameleons uh, from the very beginning of the game. Not really variant in design, it's a shame that anyone can er barely see them because of their uh, mechanism, but then What's this thing? Oh, 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 okay. Uh, I guess these are the enemies <laughs> that shoot a lot of electricity at you at some point. Um, that get a lot, all electrified and all angry and stuff all up on there. You can defeat in one shot with a screw attack at the very end. Then there's these things, variant of these uh, enemies that clash and go all, Oh my god, I'm a snail! And now I'm... I, I, no, it's not a snail. I'm a penguin! With a long tail, yay! Oh, like this, like it's really cool. I just, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just saying that way too much, but it's really, really cool. I love it. I love the details. I love looking at at artwork like this. I would really like to have gotten Hyrule Historia, but unfortunately, I bought my Wii U at launch, and uh, the only way to get Hyrule Historia here in Mexico is um, buying a th uh, Wind Waker version of the Wii U. So that's the enemy that we fought like five times. Uh, even more so at the very end, then you got the concepts for items, this is an energy tank, then you got a missile, missile tank which is inside of a capsule, uh, the missile itself is a little bit blue, on the inside you can see that, and then you also got the axle charge, over here axle charge, we got the e-recovery tank I think this is, I think this is the e-recovery tank, I'm not, entirely, I'm not entirely sure, and then this one would be the... Uh, I'm at a loss. What is this? <laughs> okay, so there's apparently... I am lost in between this one and this one. I think this is the axle charge and this... No, actually, this should be the axle charge. 
I'm not entirely sure anymore, but you know what I'm talking about. You, These three items confuse me a little bit, but there you go. E-Recovery Tank, Extra Charge, this one, that I don't know what it is. Then you got the little uh, artwork for the boxes that you would find stuff in. Like This turned out to be red later on too, to hold energy parts. Then you got early sketches for Sam's uh, young adult uh, portrayal when she was in the Federation, part of the Federation. Then you also got early sketches for the Marine uniforms for the Federation, as well as a little bit more of a detailed thing, kind of like a Tron theme going on here, covering up the entire face. Uh, Chun Legacy, you got the guns the Federation soldiers would use. Then coming all the way over here to uh, some other different weapons, I think these would just express how different each soldier was and was uh, made you able to um, differentiate in between them. You also get the ice weapon. Uh, this I think is a plasma weapon Anthony was carrying around throughout the game. Uh, yeah, I think so because it's all way over there. And this is the weapon that sh uh, he uses to fight Ridley. Uh, you also get the a little lookout here for Adam's ship. Uh, you can see by the number 07, it's the Adam's ship uh, or Adam's fleet ships. Uh, you also get to see the general sh um, ship from the Federation. I think it is. I think that's what it is. this is. You get to see a little bit of. Oh, this is the. Yeah, totally is. This is the, the Federation ship that was carrying up on the cutscene where. Samus pleads for Adam to help his little brother, and Ian dies. Dies, and finally you get this gigantic Federation machine thing. There's another page over here which will take you to bosses, which is the bug thing, the bug monster, which is one bug in the very middle to make up the eye, and the rest is just a little bugs, little purple bugs that make up everything. Uh, the bug in the middle of the eye is the center of the mastermind, and we got the wood monster, which we found like two or three along the entire journey, which is pretty kind of frustrating, uh, but at the same time kind of interesting. There was plans to have um, more worms at some point, but at the very end they only had it, had them in uh, one room. Have the regular type of worm, which would only come out. You have the violent kind of kind of worm that shoots stuff at you uh, when it sees you and tries to snatch you. These ones would only shoot at some points. Um, we also get the basic concept for the magma boss that I don't even know what the name of it is. It's really freaking weird. It's like a gigantic molt molten version of Kraid uh, for some reason. Well, I mean, at least to me. Then you got the giant eye enemies that have a little thing over here that would be impervious to all shots except for the screw attack. It would really screw us over in some uh, some parts, especially in Sector 2. Um, then you got the mech, mecha enemy that would have the, the leader inside of it, controlling it, trying to kill Samus. Got this little guy over here, the gigantic thing that would try to destroy us in Sector 3 at all points. Freaking gigantic whale, I hate you. <laughs> you got basic uh, the basic concept art for Nightmare, which is pretty similar to how he looked like in uh, Metroid Fusion over here. Then you bent but then you have to figure out how to portray him instead of a 2D environment on a 3D environment and uh, it ended up looking like it did up in the game kind of like a different kind of thing it really hides himself in here um, looks a lot smaller in the, in the in this game in other M then you got this 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 the this, this thing palm trees apparently there will be sentries I don't know what this means it was Oh, it would be like the hologram kind of thing, like the breeding room, I think it is. Uh, then you got whatever this is, the nuclei for... Oh no, this is supposed to be a nest of some sort. At least that's what I think. Because it looks kind of like that. Yeah, this is supposed to be the key hunter nest. Key hunter nest. Kind of interesting. You can see over here, this is the room where you find the... Volek? I'm not entirely sure what the giant whale is called, but this is a room you get here the first time by coming in here through the uh, morph ball sector, and then you come all the way all the way down there, fight the gigantic whale, kill it, and be all happy about it. And finally, this room over here, which would have um, the gigantic tower, the little crane over here that you have to shoot with missiles in order to be able to access the tower and go back at the beginning of sec uh, at the very end of sector two. No. Three, I guess. I think it's sector three. 
Then you come all the way over, over here, and now we got in a more detailed version of Sanus, this time not in her zero suit form, but now with included model uh, for the uh, suited up version, which is the one that you would see throughout the entire game. Then you got uh, Samus's ship that stays true to the design of pretty much any other ship in the game. Then you got this, uh, which is Samus in her main seat, just for the sake of having a cutscene at the very beginning. And Mother Brain, the concept up for Mother Brain at the end of Super Metroid, uh, being translated into 3D. You have to put her a little bit more, um, a little bit more shape. She didn't have these long arms in Super Metroid, though. I just want to say that she didn't have these long arms in Super Metroid. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really creepy looking. Get that. Now we got to the Sebesians, the regular Sebesians as they appeared in Super Metroid and um, Metroid Fusion, I think. That's how they appear, first uh, purple and, ye and yellow. Then you got the updated versions for this place, which are Mecha Sebesians, Mechanized Sebesians, uh, or Android Sebesians, whatever you want to call those. Uh, they are supposedly from the Federation, but they turn bad because of MB, they try to attack you. You also got the bug soldiers that appeared at the very end of the game over here. You, you see Samus was like, oh, what is this? Oh my god, it's a thing. Oh no, run! And you would attack it all the, all the while. Also, the big one Samus dodging it. You got the art for early Ridley over here. A size comparison for early uh, baby Ridley and Samus. It's kind of weird that Ridley actually came from a little birdie. Uh, but it's pretty ferocious, I think. Then you got Teen Ridley over here, um, looking all dumb and whatnot, looking all pretty hysterical, like hysterical in my opinion. But all the while, like that. Um, then you got the Teen, uh, teen Ridley skin all the way over here, and there's a lot of there's it's a gruesome sight uh, in the final game. Now in the final game, though, it's not supposed to look like this. Um, instead of looking like this. It's actually ripped open like this, um, and you can see the opening pretty easily. Um, then you got the uh, adult Ridley, which it's pretty much the model, um, just the model here. Little concept art of how he would shoot and attack Samus uh, all the while. Different posters for its head that I had in mind, like a little bit more um, erect, I would say. Then this concept art for Ridley altogether. And uh, this would just be the ending post for Ridley, which um, this is the Ridley that you see in Metroid Fusion that's frozen over in uh, in cryogenical state. It's over there because that's the that's the best way that they found so that they, it didn't decompose and they integrate completely. So they just put it in cryogenical state over in, in uh, Metroid Fusion. Just explains that because Queen Metroid killed Ridley. So sad. Not really. And finally, you got storyboards over here. Kind of just uh, a little bit of a storyboard art kind of comic thing would explain the entire game in a little place. You would have been able to see, I don't know if this is Samus and Adam or if this would be, or Ian at some point. Yeah, because a Adam is down back there. So this would be Ian and Samus at some point, but I think, uh, I also think it could be Samus's parents. Uh, then you get more concept art of Zero Suit Samus, then going on with the helmet at the very end of the, of the game. How she would act, how she would jump, Samus's phaser beam uh, or phaser thing, phaser pistol. Then you get concept art for baby Samus or little girl Samus, and then again for teen Samus, she was to be portrayed. Um, I I don't know if it was touring with the Koso Choso at some point. Like there's a little detail over here about the bus. I don't even I don't really understand it, but it's it's a little detail. Uh, detail. Then you got more portrayals of Samus, she was supposed to be a little bit, um, I don't know, she was supposed to be blushing at some point, apparently. And, uh, just other, other depictions of Samus having her, um, jacket for, from the Federation and staying, looking outward into the abyss. Then you got early, an early design for Fantoon, which is all the way over here, which would be an entirely corporeal, well, not corporeal, but you get what I mean, it would have a body. And um, ended up being just the old Fentoon, uh, shooting a lot of ice, being a lot more gigantic, and being a creature from space, so he's an alien. Fentoon coming back from Super Metroid. Then you got here Sector Zero concept art, you can see over here Zero. Uh, Sector Zero, 
looks really cool. Then you got the concept art for the Metroids, Metro Metroid eggs, uh, the way that Samus would notice Metroids hatching, uh, how they attack like this, like always, and just this little part over here that would mutate into the Metroids that cannot be frozen into spikes instead of having those little brain cells over there like that circular. Uh, then you got more concept art. This is for the Queen Metroid. Just to like take you a little bit in co into comparison, you were supposed to see a gigantic mess before coming into these rooms, and then you would be revealed to Queen Metroid over there. Lastly, the last piece of um, conceptual art is a lot of Metroids over there on top of Queen Metroid hatching, and uh, that's it. That's it. Okay, so that is going to be everything for this bonus episode of Metroid Other M. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to this channel if you really like the video. And I just will see you guys some other time when I let's play some other game. Maybe another Metroid game in the future. I don't know. Later, guys.